Hi, I'm Gary M0TIG here at Martin Lynch & Sons and today we're going to be looking at something just a little different. Last week Tony spoke about the FT891 and I thought it would be interesting to show you how you're going to connect this up for say digital modes in the home should you wish to maybe use a, an SCU17 or, or other digital um, interface. Um, this isn't a conventional radio in the way that it connects. It does require two USB ports um, on your computer or your laptop or whatever. Um, the SCU17 is a really, really nice little device. It does have a, a serial kind of port out the rear, but it doesn't seem to function with the radio um, in the usual way. Um, perhaps in the future that might be something that we can get around, but at the moment the easiest way to do this is with two USB connections. So you're taking a USB connection from the rear of the radio and a USB connection from the um, SCU17. The SCU17 is handling the audio, um, which is then pumped through your uh, one of the USB cables, and then the CAT control is done with another COM port, which is actually on the back of the radio here. So now I've dismantled the SCU17 and the FT891 and I can show you the process of connecting it all together. Um, we have the very neat little SCU17, little connections, and the little front there. And you've got two level controls as well on the front which may or may not be used just depending on how the thing's been um, utilized. One's RX, one's TX. You've got two LEDs on the front here, FSK, PTT and obviously a power. You may not see these illuminate, it may PTT with or without this, this light depending how you've configured the, the little box and in fact with the uh, FT891 they won't actually illuminate or the PTT and the FSK I don't think will. Okay so again on the back you've got a, a CAT RS232 port which at the moment I said earlier that the you, you could possibly connect the two up with a CAT62 cable but I've not been able to get that to work so I'm going to say that's not, not uh, the best way forward. So the way that I got it to work was quite simply using two USB ports on the uh, computer and then um, all I've done is I've taken those two USB cables I'm going to apply one to the, um, to the radio and I'm going to apply the other to the back of the SCU17 like so. The only other connection is the cable that is supplied with the SCU17 uh, which then gets plugged into um, to that one. Do be very careful with these pins. Um, you want on the top here you've got a little little dimple okay that's the top of the radio. Don't push and turn because these pins are very very delicate so try and line the the plug up before it goes in and make sure you can see the plug itself and the, and the socket and just a little push in there they go home again this is um, this is an eight pin so two no sorry it's six two four six that goes in this socket here towards the middle of the radio um, again dimple to the top and that just simply plugs in like so and once you've done that you've got your USB connection your data connection and a USB connection going to the back of the SCU17. Now there are a couple of things that we're going to need to do on the front of the radio. Um, I've already gotten uh, actually in here so let me come out of that. If you press and hold the F button on the front of the screen and then navigate over to menu uh, number 5, um, 06, what you're looking for is cat rate. Okay and I've set this to 4800 um, uh, board there and then what you do is you use the multi-function knob here then just to, to um, scroll down and you want to go down to cat rts now i've disabled that you don't particularly need it in this particular case so i've set it for 4800 uh, board and then turn the rts function off and once you've done that then you can just put it back to your normal mode. And then what we're going to do is we'll hop over to the computer, have a quick look to see what I've um, used in the way of COM ports and sound cards 
on the computer for this uh, device and then I'll hook it up to something like Ham Radio uh, Deluxe which is really really good for showing us exactly what COM ports and, and how they're actually functioning with this, this combination. So let's hop over to the computer now. So we've popped over to the computer and I'm not going to teach everyone to suck eggs. I'm sure we, we, you know, we know about the device manager and all that sort of stuff. So I've got that open uh, already. We're going to, I'm going to show you what, what uh, will, will be displayed and what we're actually interested in. And then what we'll do is we'll start Ham Radio Deluxe and then we'll just start controlling the radio with that. So let's, let's do that now. Okay, so... What we've got here is um, Device Manager open and uh, for those of you that uh, don't know how to do that, if you right mouse click on this uh, little Windows key down the bottom here um, and then scroll up to the top, you'll see Device Manager there and then the Device Manager will open like so. We've got two of them now, but anyway, there you go. So what we're after is we're after uh, these COM ports and you'll see now because we've got two USB is actually connected. We've got one USB going into the radio, which has two enhanced ports. Um, and the SCU-17, well, actually it has one enhanced port and one standard port, but so does the SCU-17. So you'll see all four of those actually connected there. Um, it would be nice if you disconnect one, you'll see one of those ports disappear and you'll know which of those sets of ports is the radio and which is the SCU-17. It might be a good idea at that point just to write those down as a little note so you know. So what I'm going to do is we're going to also going to check to make sure that the sound and video and game controllers actually sees it. And what we've got here is the USB audio codec, and that's the audio codec that we're interested in. So the SCU-17 is handling the USB audio and the cat control is being handled by the radio USB. Okay, so let's head over to a piece of software which is pretty well known. And this is uh, Ham Radio Deluxe here. I think it's running, there you go. Um, so what you'll be presented with is this um, page here which, which comes up and you, you're gonna create a, a new connection. Um, now the good thing with Ham Radio Deluxe is that it shows you quite a lot of the detail of the COM ports uh, as you're setting it up. So it's a good idea at this stage to record that, that information. And I've already done one here. Um, you'll see that the Yesu I've chosen, so if I go to a new uh, radio, you can pick from a list of radios here and then you can then select the model here. I've already done one of those. I've actually set one up as FT891 um, and I know which COM port it is. Well, let's just say that you don't know which COM port it is. So I'm going to, I'm going to delete that one. Yeah, watch it. I'll never work again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to new Yesu 891 and I'm going to say, I don't know which, um, which COM port it is. You could select auto detect and you can also select this as auto detect and I've turned both the DTR and RTS off because we turned that off earlier on. Well, actually, I do know the speed because again, we set that earlier on, we set that to 4800, but perhaps you don't know the port, so you can actually leave this as auto detect. Okay, in my case, I know which port it is. Um, I know it's, it's COM14, but if you don't, then it will actually search through all of the COM ports on your computer until it finds that it can connect to one of them. If it doesn't, connect then um, you've just got to keep just altering it very slightly here and there and then just keep trying until it does if it doesn't connect after sort of five or ten minutes then just try and investigate and see what's actually changed well I know that we're on COM port 14 I know that we're on 4800 and I know that I turned the RTS and DTR, uh, DTR off and I'm just going to say at this stage connect and it's done it's just whizzed through that little connection and away we go. So now what we've got here is control of the radio right from this from this uh, from this desktop. Now, as I control the the, um, I'm using the centre um, mouse wheel. Um, this is a cheap and cheerful mouse. Um, and when I also, if I put this over the over the digits, I can now control the the actual radio from the computer. 
Um, there are other ways that you can do it as well. You can actually select a different band by clicking on the, on the bars and then going down through each of the bars. Um, it's great. Um, you've also got some, you've got all the buttons that may be buried in menus on the, on the standard radio and now just push buttons on the front of the screen. So that's another unique um, thing really with this sort of software. It's absolutely fabulous for that. Um, it's fairly universal. So absolutely great bit of software. And the 891 is a fantastic radio that is just really, it's, it's, it's just a, a good start into uh, maybe digital modes and stuff like that. It's very, very, um, uh, it's just a really, really good little radio. Um, the other thing that you can also do, um, we're going to be interested in setting up, is we're going to need to know where the audio side is coming from. So the SCU is supplying the audio. So if we start up something like uh, DM780, I mean, back when uh, PSK used to be a thing, it's now all FT8. So we'll get the the screen up so there you go now at the moment you can see here that we've got um, some audio coming in but what we're going to do is we're going to click on um, options down the bottom left hand uh, corner there we'll get a screen come up here and we'll say sound card and then what we're going to do is we're going to choose the the usb audio codec and that is the scu 17 um, they're providing all of that and for the out you want to set for again usb audio codec now the good thing that we're learning from ham radio um, deluxe here is that we're learning exactly what each of the the parts are so that you can if you record those you can take it to other pieces of software so for instance wsjtx and stuff like that you can then use all that information hopefully get it to connect quite quickly um, and save you a whole heap of time so there you go. I think that pretty much uh, sums it up. As I say, enjoyed the digital stuff. It's really, really good fun. Um, and it's sort of something that I use a reasonable amount. Um, I absolutely love Ham Radio um, Deluxe and it's just a brilliant thing. And it works so well with the FT891. It's a, just a really great combination. Um, the SCU17 is a fantastically, really, really good looking little device. Um, and it works pretty much across majority of the um, Yesu range um, and it's, it's a really good looking really neat little product so thanks for watching um, hopefully um, I'll see you very soon come into the store whatever um, we look really really forward to seeing you um, if you need anything do give us a call on 03452300599 and I'll see you soon